Hey, hey friends, how are you? My name is Katie. This is Capturing Fashion with Katie. We're at LuLaRoe Boutique. Today, I want to talk to you about our Leah tunic. Leah, Leah, I say it both ways. I don't know which way the correct way is. Um, I should know, but I don't know. So sometimes I say Leah, sometimes I say Leah. It's a thing. Now, uh, this is not a brand new shirt. We've had the Leah around for about a year or so now, maybe a little bit more, in fact. Um, so this is not a new top to most of you, but some of you have never tried her before. Plus, we have um, some of hell. Some of you have never tried Lularoe before, and it's time. Anyways, um, so we have not. We don't have a vi ugh, goodness gracious a fit video for her here on YouTube. So uh, before I started doing YouTube, I always just did them in my Facebook group when I just posted them there, and then they get lost forever. So then we started doing the YouTube thing, and now they are here forever. And anytime you need a refresher on a style, so we haven't seen this one in a little while. I don't have one on the tube, so I decided let's make one today since we have a brand new box of pretties for you today. So this is the Leia tunic. It is a drop shoulder tunic. So um, it has, so it kind of drops off the shoulder here. There doesn't actually have that seam until like way down here. It's, the, it's got that little cuff. It is sewn in. So that cuff is there to stay. Then we have, it's actually kind of like a dolman sleeve where it's got that, that um, the shoulder seam right down and there is no there is no seam here. So if that makes sense, that's what a dolman sleeve is. Anyways, um, then we have the tunic length. So it covers the bum and side slits. Now I will say, I want to start off by saying I'm wearing a couple sizes small or a size smaller than I typically would or according to my size chart. Now the size chart for our styles are usually, um, for how the, the, the style is intended to fit. So it is intended to fit a little bit more relaxed and tunic length. I can, however, fit into, this one's a small, I can fit into an extra small. You can see though, it's gonna get a lot more form fitting. It's gonna raise up that length. Um, so it is really intended to be a little bit more relaxed. It's intended to be a little bit um, longer. So I started with small though, and here's why. In my closet, I have a lot of smalls. When the Leo was released, uh, she, I was a little bit smaller. <laughs> so uh, it, a lot of, I sized down one to a small. I loved the small. I was definitely a solid medium in that size chart. And I sized down a lot to a small. I think I even have some extra smalls in there. Um, again, because I was a little bit smaller. Now I'm a little bit bigger. Medium is still my size for this top because if you've heard me talk before, the way our size charts are broken down, sometimes it's an 810 for a medium. Sometimes it's a 1012 for a medium. When it's a 1012 for a medium, I like a medium. Um, when it's an 810 for a medium, then I like a large, so it would be a 1214. I am a, I'm right around, I'm right on the edge there. So depending on, uh, the style really. So I'm like right on the edge of a 14, but usually in our stuff, I like the fit of the 12 better. So you get what I'm saying in this shirt. I, my go-to size would be a medium. I do have mediums in my closet. Um, I have smalls. I have extra smalls in my closet, but a majority of my closet is a small, um, are smalls because I was a little bit smaller than, but I wanted to show you that I still can wear it. It is intended to be a little bit looser. The sleeves have great stretch, so it's not too tight or anything, but, uh, it is intended to be a little bit more loose. However, personal preference and all of that thing. I know many of you who have already tried this style before do usually like to size down in this particular style. So I just decided to start small and then I'd work my way up. So started with a small, so just FYI, the whole fit of this is intended to be just a little bit, like I said, more relaxed than this one actually is. This one's a size down. I especially like a size down though, if I want to wear it with like denim or denim shorts or something like that. But I love the Leia with a pair of leggings or a pair of biker shorts. I'm wearing biker shorts today, right? So um, then I would really like the medium. But the small is great too. Now I do want to talk to you about materials. 
as I mentioned before, the Leia has been around for a hot minute. We have seen many materials in the Leia. We have a sort of cottony blend. I mean, I can show you, but you can't really see. Kind of cottony blend. So if you've ever tried our cottony blend things, um, they're a little bit thicker. They're a t-shirt material, but a little bit thicker, but still real soft. Really good fit on these. That's kind of what we started with. I know a lot of ladies that loved them. Then we had a waffle knit. This is the only one I happen to have. So I don't know if you can really see the waffle knit on there, but still really good stretch, really good stretch, super comfy fit. We have had a crepe moss. Uh oh, I'm stuck. We have had a crepe moss, which we've had in a lot of styles. If you have ever tried any of our things, you can see it's got a little bit of texture there. We've seen this in our, our Leola jumpsuit. We've seen it in Natalie. We've seen it in various tops. Um, that crepe moss, it's got that little bit of... Um, that texture to it and again really good stretch some of them um we had kind of in the middle where they came out with this seam this top bust seam this one has it too even though it's not a two-tone like this one that top bust seam that hit right across here so some of our older layers do have that these brand new ones from the box today you can see do not um yeah, I was going to say, let me double check and make sure it's all of them. Yeah, they do not have it. Um, then we have also had them in a rayon blend. So we all know and love a good rayon blend. Really light, stretchy, soft, um, kind of cold. <laughs> we call that the cold material. Um, I, back in the day, we used to call it the wet material because when you took it out of the package, if it, got really, if it was really hot or cold, then it'd kind of feel wet. It wasn't. Um, and then these today are actually a modal blend modal blend which we have not seen in quite a while we used to have modal back in the day in our um, irma's and maybe a few others the modal of the past almost had a sticky feel i don't it's not it wasn't sticky but that was the best way i could kind of describe it if you ever felt one or you have one then i think you would know what i'm talking about this modal modal is actually just another form of rayon and so it feels incredibly similar to our rayon blend ones that we have over here. It feels almost exactly the same. The stretch, the fit feel, all of that is really the same. It's basically a rayon. It's just kind of different blend of a different type of rayon. It's a slight bit heavier, uh, but not really all that noticeable. In fact, if I hadn't seen uh, that, heard that they were coming in mode all this time, then I wouldn't have even checked the tag and I wouldn't have even known. I would have just gone straight for hey they're rayon so if you love our rayon layers then you're going to love these they're basically like i said modal and rayon is basically the same thing so that was a lot of talking this layer you've probably like i said you've probably already tried her if you haven't tried her and you need to try her get at me i will hook you up with an amazing layer there are lots of materials lots of prints and gorgeous pieces out there but i do want to show you like i said a few sizes so one more time this one is a small a small Further size chart is actually a 6'8". I am a 12, 14, guys. Heavier on the 14. Um, but it's amazing. But again, it's supposed to be a little bit more... Um, relaxed. So now I'm going to put on a medium, which really is my go-to size. I'm even going to do a large because I do say that I'm a solid 14. Um, and so that would technically put me in the large, but because of the way our size charts vary, we've talked about that. I like a medium for the way this size chart is broken down and maybe I'll even do an extra large. I don't know. We'll see, but let's check out a medium, which is my go-to favorite size. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So this is a medium. I think you can maybe tell it's actually very similar, um, but it is definitely a bit more relaxed. It's a little bit darker um, in color, so you might not be able to see. I noticed a few times, like in that lighter colored one, you could see like the line of my biker shorts, which happens from time to time. Not a big deal. This one is darker, um, so you probably don't notice it, but I don't think that you would anyways because it is more relaxed. So now you can see it's nice and relaxed. This one is a full bum coverage. No worries at all about the bum showing if that's something you want. It's a tunic, so it is supposed to be on the longer end. This, you can see it's just a tad bit longer. It's just a tad more relaxed. Both are super duper comfy, but for the sake of like leggings or biker shorts like I'm wearing today, uh, this medium, really fantastic. Now again, last year I was uh, like 20 pounds lighter and so me sizing down one was sizing down to a small and I loved it. And so that's what my closet 
is based on the smaller size Katie. Now the bigger size Katie can still wear that small. You saw it definitely worked, but this medium is definitely more comfy, um, not only in like fit, but in just like confidence or you're like you're yourself like you know that the shirt is too small even if it looks fantastic some I have some things and I have you guys even say oh you look amazing in the medium and I'm like yeah I know but I like the large just because I can just tell that it's you know it's just I just feel more comfortable in it um for my own like personal preference. Now, I do know some people that like to size up in them and I did mention that large is technically my size shirt size because I'm a little bit bigger, I'm technically a 14, though typically, again, I like a medium, but I still wanna show you a large just so that you can get an idea. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you the extra large as well. As you can see, wearing them with leggings though, it's gonna start getting a little bit longer or with biker shorts and we're gonna start looking like we're not wearing pants here in a minute. Um, but let me try on a large and an extra large for you. All right, is this spectacular or what? I want it so bad, I'm trying to be a good girl. Tell me no, no Katie, no. All right, so this one is a large. Now, again, I know um, other ladies that are similar in size to me. So we talked about last year compared to this year. Um, I am a 32 denim. In, all, in our denim sizing. I used to be last year, so the year before that I was a 32, and then I was a 30 last year in the dip where we first got layers, and now I'm back up to a 32. Um, so I like to do the yo-yo thing, you know, I like to take the hills. Uh, so this one is a large, and I know other ladies that are similar in shape and sizing to me that love the large because the large they're technically they're a solid 14 and they're proud of it and that is their size shirt size and they like it because again it is supposed to be more relaxed it is supposed to be on the longer end and so they love the fit of the large to me this is definitely comfortable um and definitely doable i usually though like to err on the side of medium but this is absolutely a doable thing. It's just remembering, again, your personal preference, but also keep in mind the way the style is intended to be fit. I can also fit into an extra, extra small in this style, but that is clearly not the purpose. It's no longer a tunic. It is very form-fitting. There is nothing about that's not the intended fit of the style. If I wanted a form-fitting shirt, we have other shirts that I could get that are form-fitting in a proper size. So just because you can size down a lot doesn't always necessarily mean you should, right? Right? Um, and then just because you can size up, eh, sometimes you want to just do it. So let's check out an extra large and then we'll be all done. All right, let's be real. Mostly I just wanted to be able to peep to you some of these amazing prints because look at how cute they have all been so far. There's a couple on this rack that I haven't even shown you, but this is an extra large. Now, again, it's not too shabby. I also have ladies who love a size up. This one's not too bad, but it is very oversized. I definitely would only wear this one with like leggings, maybe the biker shorts. It's getting a little bit long, but I'd probably still wear it with the biker shorts as well. Uh, for me, I don't like oversized with oversized. So if I'm wearing something very relaxed, um, then I like to pair it with something more slim fit. So like leggings with an oversized top or a more form fitting top with something flowy like our Maxi or a Marsha or something like that. That's usually, I like that balance. Um, other people I can see they wear that thin or that slim cut with the slim cut. I do that sometimes too. It's fantastic. And then I have some ladies that can do that oversize on oversized look and it looks fantastic. And I always feel frumpy in it. Um, and they look like a million bucks. So it just depends on your style and how you can rock it and how you want to rock it, how you can rock it, how you want to rock it. Um, and preferences, all of that good stuff. Body shape, all of that takes into consideration. So this one's an extra large. It is really big. I might do it just because some days I have those days where I'm just like, I just want to wear something that's three sizes too big and be super comfortable and love myself in it. And I do. So this one would be cute for that. But when we're really talking, I'm really shopping out for a layout. I'm going with medium personally. Um, Again, I can do that small if I really want to, but medium is really my go-to, which is, according to this size chart, my size chart size. So um, I hope this helped. I know that was a lot of talking for a style that maybe you've seen before, but maybe you're new to LuLaRoe. Maybe you have not tried it. If you ever need any help, I am always one message away. Be sure to give me a little bit of heart. Subscribe to my channel. Oh, yeah, the lay is 34, by the way. If you need one, get at me. Let me hook you up. There's lots. They're pretty. And I will see you guys tonight if you're in the group on the live time. I will see you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.